Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. In today's video, I actually wanted to build a kind of construction vehicle. Thanks to the paint mod that I recently downloaded, I've been on this creative streak. It's amazing what just a little bit of color can do to a craft in making it look more, or not more, but you know, more aesthetically pleasing. At first, I just want to make like some sort of transportation vehicle, some sort of dump truck uh, in a sense. Maybe a truck that carried ore, minerals and stuff, fuel. But then I thought usually transportation vehicles that are work related can really be any color whatsoever. But I wanted something more on the construction level, something that looks more like a caterpillar. For those of you who understand what I'm talking about. Basically, its colors would, is mostly yellow and black. Something that you very rarely see on the road, but mostly on the construction site. But what would a truck-like work vehicle be doing out in the middle of a work zone? That's where I came up with the idea that maybe, just maybe, it was a kind of surveyor. Some kind of mineral surveyor. It would go out, it would find a spot, it would mine, it would detect how much or how pure the location is the quality of the ore and the ability to make fuel out of it. So it would be this mini factory in a sense on top of a pair of wheels. It would mine for a little while, smelt the ore, and measure the quantity of fuel produced by that ore in order to produce, in order to, you know, find out the quality of the ore. If the quality was to satisfaction, it would mark the area for a future mining site. Now, the cab of the truck was a very interesting choice, I understand. I chose to use the Apollo-style landing module, command module. The reason was is that not only did it look cool, in my opinion, but also the exit point was in the front. You see, the other two command modules that I could have used have the exit point in the back. One of them has the exit point on top and the back, but it's elongated. I wanted something that was a lot shorter and smaller. So the small little lander can was only a one-seater. It had the opening in the back. And as we all know, as long as we've all been playing KSP, if you have anything close to that damn opening, it's going to say hatch obstructed. It needs to be like freaking 30 feet away from anything in order to be unobstructed. It's, you know, it's it's part of the game, of course. It's it's just something that people who you, who play this game have to get used to. There is a loophole, of course. I could talk about that later, but the loophole wasn't going to work in this situation. I didn't want some sort of giant gap in between the construction vehicle's equipment and the cab. I wanted it to be seamless and all in one shot. And of course, the other command module that looks like a truck or, a, or something that you could use for a rover is just so damn long. It's a two-seater, great, but it's just so damn long. It would force the Kerbinauts to either pop out the top and find some sort of ladder mechanism in order to crawl all the way down to the bottom, or again, to have some sort of gap in between the back end and the equipment in order for them to come out the back. So inevitably, I ended up using the Apollo, Apollo style lander can, or the, the Apollo style command module. It's a two seater, which there you go. That's what I was looking for. And the exit point is up in front, which means that I don't have to worry about the hatch obstructed bullcrap. Now, yeah, you can't really see out the windows of this thing, but one could imagine that it has some sort of screen in the middle, allowing you to see 360 degrees around the entire vehicle with little cameras everywhere. I thought it worked out well. I mean, you know, other people might have other opinions, but it, it did the job that I was looking for it to do. And again, I think it actually looks pretty good. Anyway, now I was thinking about for a for power for this thing, I was thinking about solar panels, of course, but in actuality, if this thing was going to be working like, for instance, on the surface of the moon, the night times of the moon are very long. And while, yes, I could use solar panels for the daytime and just tuck them in during the nighttime, that would be building two types of power sources on one platform when I can just use one power source to take care of the whole damn thing. And the power source that I'm that I chose was a fuel and engine type of power source. I could put some sort of emergency solar panel that pops out just in case it does run out of fuel. That could be on the next version. But for this prototype, I just gave it a whole bunch of fuel and a whole bunch of fuel cells. So basically like a, you know, modern day car engine. 
Underneath the craft would be a crap ton of batteries so that when it's actually working really hard and absorbing a lot of electricity, it can do so without worrying about running out of power anytime soon before recharging. I wanted the vehicle to have like a, you know, to look look cool. For all of you who know me, I'm the kind of person that not only wants a vehicle to work well, but also look cool doing it. I've been told that I'm sort of like half engineer, half artist. It's just something about a craft that, yeah, it does its job well, but it looks like shit that just bothers the hell out of me. So instead of using a tiny little drill in order to drill for ore that could easily just pop out the side and be plain as hell, I opted for a really big construction arm with a big old drill on it. In order for this arm to work properly, it would have to use some sort of stabilizer so there would be pistons on the side that would come out and stabilize the entire truck, kind of like a crane operator. This arm would then pop out the side and begin drilling. On the sides of the truck are small little cargo containers that would theoretically hold scientific stuff in order to study the ore in detail better, kind of like lab equipment for minerals. It even have its own little power source and satellite dish and all that jazz because this thing would in a sense turn into a little tiny little outpost for a little while which was what i was going for to begin with i wanted it to like transform into this little itty bitty little outpost something the kerbal would live in for a few days while analyzing that spot but instead of having the entire thing disassemble itself into like a tiny little outpost it just made sense for everything to stay on board the truck chassis while in drilling operations and then the equipment that it got from the little cargo base or equipment base could then help sell the aesthetics of the truck becoming more of a small little outpost, mobile outpost. I even put little lights on top that spun, little caution amber lights that spun on the top during operation. Granted, I was having problems on figuring out just how fast I wanted them, but, you know, inevitably, it worked out. But there it is, the Ore Surveyor, Mark one I guess <laughs> if ever I come back to this I'll probably just go ahead and make it maybe a little bigger maybe it maybe attach a habitat module to it for longer periods of stay in a certain area I could have the centralized of this of the chassis maybe bend in half into an L shape to give it a more of a outpost feel when in transformation but we'll see anyway thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel if you liked what you saw please leave a like and if you loved what you saw consider subscribing we also have a membership program if you become a member you get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name it's pretty cool check it out and also if you want to be notified to my videos make sure to hit that bell notification because youtube will leave you in the digital dust if you don't youtube will always be youtube i don't know why that whole thing even counts as to why it even is but there you go i also apologize for my voice it's uh i don't know i just feel really tired for some reason just drained it's been a hell of a week usually when i have more energy i sound a lot chipper but i don't know this this kind of sounds nice let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you've reached this far into the video of whether or not I should have a more relaxed voice like this. But anyway, love you all, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.